You know, put, you put some we're stuff here. up. What? Put, put stuff up. Yeah, this on. is going up. All right, we're here. We're live. We're Dr. Marvin Rappaport somewhere in Southern California where it's the rest of the world is having an ice storm. And we're, uh, yes. this is incredible. We, uh, I was going to wear my scarf today because my neck was cold because it plummeted all the way down to 68. One of the things that we wanted to talk about today is, uh, you know, I don't know how many videos we have up, 35, 40 videos. And uh, invariably we'll get a comment because one of, the, one of the arrows in your toolkit is cyclosporine. And cyclosporine, of course, to mitigate the uh, side effects of going through, you know, withdrawal after addiction. One of the things we see occasionally and often repeatedly in our comments is I was prescribed cyclosporine and it did not work. It was not effective for me. What's your comment to that? Well, it's very, very sad. And it's, in fact, obnoxious. And I get angry. And I'm so very annoyed because I don't know how many people were told that out there. Plus, the reason is so often because the doctors are afraid of their shadow. They got a new drug. They've heard it's a big gun. Though it's been around for 40 years and we've used it in Durham and many other diagnoses, arthritis, colitis, uh, blistering diseases, psoriasis, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Safe. It's in the transplant patient, et cetera, et cetera. Positive, positive, positive. But they're afraid. So they carefully and cautiously go under the radar when they prescribe it, if they have the guts enough to prescribe. In my experience, and it's been about 17 years now, I could only get benefits within the three to five days, like I promised, three to seven days. They were starting to get symptoms less already when I use 300 milligrams a day. Must use 100 milligrams three times a day, no matter what the weight of the patient. Well, I'm not giving it to two-month-olders. I don't give it under 12. I can get away with the other therapy much more aptly and not worry <clears throat> about the future. Um, but... Uh, if we lowered, if they came to me saying, I've been on the, the drug, you know, uh, for two months at 200 milligrams a day, I said, that's the problem. You're on the low dose. Uh, what brand are you using, et cetera, et cetera. Well, my doctor doesn't want to give me any more. He says it's, it's in the literature. It, 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 you'll go to jail if you use more than that. I mean, he's crazy. They're afraid. I haven't found that, by the way. I mean, I know it's sad. I haven't found it. You know, you go to drugs.com and you read the you read the side effects and it's 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 decreased kidney function occasionally and elevated blood pressure occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. No other problems. And usually, invariably, in my experience, now with about nine hundred and fifty patients on cyclosporin, about twenty, twenty-five still on treatment. The others are all cured. All cured. No rash, no drug, no anything. Um, the um, older people have a little more chance of having a little happening to their kidney function. The younger people under 45, almost across the board. But when you no say, when you say uh, interaction with kidney function, if you taper or cease administration of the drug, does that kidney function come back? Oh, yes. So, that's, so that's the other thing. Okay, but right? there's a worry. No, I worry I mean, at the beginning. People think they're doing permanent damage, and and you've not. I'm not. I don't mean to put words in your mouth. You have not observed any permanency from the use of cyclosporin, or have you? Permanent damage. No, but I've had to manipulate the dosage, and in order because they are not functioning, and we both agreed that that's the drug of choice for them to stay on. So, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Smith, let me just lower the dose for a week. We'll go back. 
I have multiple methods that have worked in the past, but I worry that it's another six months they're going to be on the drug yeah. for another year. Yeah. And am I causing ultimately permanent damage? So far not in 950 patients. So I'm, I don't want to be cavalier. You know, in medicine, you're always careful about the next one could be one who gets into more difficulty. But in general, I have to say relax to the doctors. And, and that circles us back to the point of the, the, the discussion when people are talking about you and your approach and your therapies, and they see a comment that says, I was on cyclosporine, it didn't work, so everything Rappaport says is wrong. Um, that's really, really got to be taken. Well, you know, not only that, but you know, they're the ones who have been on, oh, I've been on seven drugs and it didn't work. I don't like doctors anymore. I'm not yeah. going back. Uh, and it's sad because what, without authority, without a, a, a sense of strength, the doctor says, let's try this drug. Yeah. The, the detail person the rep was in just now says it's really good. Oh, we had a good lunch from them also. But I, I read some papers. That they say it's real good. The advertisements on TV. Let's try it. Uh, take this dose, lower the dose, um, come in. And we'll check you in uh, three weeks. Doc, I'm still breaking out. I still got the red rash because they don't have bad atopic dermatitis. They have steroid addiction. Well, off the dose. And then two weeks later, you know, I'm getting headaches, doctor. I think it's the drug, the new drug. Ah, uh, let's stop the drug. It's yeah, not worth it. Right. Well, the one I saw specifically mentioned you by name. It was on TikTok. Uh, I, I, I was under the care of Dr. Rapp before. I was on 150 milligrams of uh, cyclosporine. Uh, Dr. Rapport was, was uh, my insurance wouldn't pay for it. So I went to the doctor, my insurance would pay for. They took me off the 150 milligrams of cyclosporine and put me on Dupixent. Like, oh, Lord. <laughs> there are at least seven to 800 failures I've seen. Oh. They are told by their doctor, just stay on it. It might take a year or two to be on the drug. And they're still symptomatic, and they're still breaking out, and they're still having red flares, but the doctor said, stay on it, stay on it. See, but now that gets us back to Select Health, where, and for those of, that don't know, Select Health in Utah quit basically paying for Dupixin uh, because they're clinical industry analysts felt that it was of uh, consequential benefit, shall we say, charitably. And one of the things that we think happened was doctors are drug hopping. They're drug hopping. Therapy A is not working. We're going to try therapy B. We're going to try therapy C. And the insurance companies are saying, wait a second. <laughs> For sure. And each one is very expensive. Yeah. And the only the drug rep comes in with some free coupons for yes. one or two shots or one or two tubes, and then you're on your own doctor, and the patient has to pay. Well, when you're paying seven hundred dollars for a tube of cream that doesn't work after you've been applying it for three weeks, and you want a renewal, and you want me, the insurance company, to pay another seven hundred dollars, no way. Or the shots are. You know, Dupixin was running at forty-five, forty-six thousand dollars a year per patient, and the newer ones are m m much more than that. But but it, it brings up a very fascinating comment or concept as to the inner workings of the insurance companies, because what the, what they can say is, of all of the instances of people taking Dupixin, how many of them stop? And 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 that really. Yeah. is more of an indicative study than what the pharmaceutical companies did. Because it's like, hey, doctor took him or her off of this drug and put them in option B drug. But what's that say about option A? I mean, just forget, forget the subjective analysis. Just in <clears throat> actual practice, X number of patients were taken off this drug and put on something else. Well, but it also tells you the other thing that I cited in prior taping um, the number of patients. So a few go off. So a hundred go off. 
I got thousands out there yeah. that I can treat. Well, see, that's and I'm point. also on the six o'clock national news with an advertisement every day. I must have the money for it. There are that many patients out there. And, and I'm making up numbers, but again, back to Select Health. Say they had, I mean, it's the entire, it's the entire, it's the entire state of Utah and a part of the Southwest. Say they had ten thousand patients that they're paying for a therapy for, yeah. and two thousand of them went off. Well, some analyst is saying, well, if it wasn't effective for this 2,000, let's quit paying for the other 8,000. That's right. Yeah, and repeat it. It's not that I just underwrote one prescription. This is the sixth renewal. Exactly. Why? Yeah, these are real dollars. These are yeah. real, yeah. real dollars. Anyway, enough of our rant. Cyclosporine. Worked like a charm. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. With no problems, you just monitor the patient aptly, and they're all cured who have been on cyclosporine who are that severe. These, these videos are, are also intended to be a tool for sufferers of topical steroid addiction, addiction to show their physicians, to show their internists, to show their dermatologists. And you're certainly available to consult both indiv individual physicians and patients. Your email's in the description, and I would encourage anybody to reach out to you. How many doctors read the papers? How many doctors will look at it, the YouTube one shot? How many doctors will look at skin on fire. Very few. They might give lip service to the patient who suggested to them, but very few. That's why this is a very grassroots yeah. movement. It's yeah. got to start with the patient. And I hear the jungle I hear the jungle drums. I hear that I hear the din of an uprising of people that just aren't going to take it anymore. You've been watching too many movies. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please like, share, subscribe.